that's it. Alright guys, so I know that what I'm supposed to be doing right now is giving you a rundown of V102 financial accounting, but uh, I've come across a few hiccups in regards to that. So I was given a retake plan, and in the retake plan, what it says it wants me to do is to go through all of the unit tests and module quizzes and get at least 80% on all those, which is weird because most of them have three questions, so, well at least the modules do, so like even if you get two out of three it's only like a 66 percent but anyway they want you to go through and get at least 80 percent on all of those but my logic with that and my thinking was that well <clears throat> if i just go through and relearn all the material and do all the lessons that that should suffice because realistically speaking if you take a module test or you take a unit test and you fail it and you go and look at which ones you got wrong and then you redo it you're not really learning anything, you're just re, you're memorizing answers and then copy and pasting the answers. So are you really learning anything at that point? But after I spent a couple weeks studying, I requested a second attempt and they literally will not let me take it until I 80% all of the unit module and lessons. Uh, and I mean, I am willing to do that. It's tedious and stupid to just copy and paste a bunch of answers, but I'm willing to do that. Uh, but my the main instructor for d102 is going on thanksgiving break um for a week so i have to wait another week in order to take that so in the meantime uh, i started c723 quantitative analysis for business now you'd imagine with a name like quantitative analysis for business that this would be a juggernaut of a course but i'm here to reassure you that it's really not that bad of a course at all or at least Again, take what I say with a grain of salt, you know, like I've said, I'm pretty decent with numbers, but uh, as far as I go, this course wasn't bad at all. Um, a lot of, if you've taken a high school gen ed math course or even a college, you know, very basic math course, then you will do 100% fine with this course. It's a lot of very simple, you know, A equals five and B equals two and C equals three. So what's the answer? You know, it's very easy, simple things like that. Now, what makes it a not so simple uh, math problem is they give you a novel of things to read through in order to get to what that is. On a lot of the questions on the PA and OA, I would literally just scroll down uh, through the novel of you know, words to see what the question was because I've experienced this in other uh, courses too where they'll give you a very long word problem, but you really only need to know like, a sentence out of that entire thing but for some reason well they're just trying to trick you is what it is they're trying to see if you're paying attention but uh yeah that's the reason some of these oas and pas take so long is because they just throw an entire paragraph of a problem at you when really you only need a sentence to figure out what it is that they're asking now i've said it before and i'll say it again if you have the capacity to do so go out and buy one of these okay the calculator is a ti30xs uh, texas instruments uh, I think it only costs like $15 on Amazon, and it turns a somewhat hard math course into a very simple one. The reason I like these calculators is because it keeps your formulas and equations on the screen. So some calculators, if you type in like 10 plus 10, you'll type in 10, and then you'll hit plus, and it'll take that 10 away and show whatever the next thing you're typing is. With these, it keeps your entire equations up on the screen. So like if you have a big group of numbers that you're comparing against another big group of numbers, it'll keep all of them up so that you can see if maybe you punch something in wrong or if you have to keep using the same problem over and over again, the same formula, uh, it'll keep all of it right there. And there's a lot of like videos on YouTube and things that you can go and show you all the different functions of your calculator. But again, get one of these, it'll make this course very simple or much more simple. Now, as uh, it usually goes, I didn't look at any of the reading material on the course at all. There's like 15, 5 to 10 minute videos that you can go through, and uh, that'll pretty much tell you everything you need to know about the course. But what I would suggest, if you're even somewhat decent at math, is to take the PA as soon as you open the course and see what you know, because it might surprise you. Um, a lot of it, like I said, is very basic math, you know? Uh, and uh, actually, there's a decent amount of like just critical thinking type stuff in here you know if you know how to read graphs uh, there's a lot of graph questions in here 
I'm pretty much convinced that the people I've seen on Reddit and uh, places that are saying they had a t difficult time with this class are just overthinking it. Like, a lot of it was common sense, critical thinking type math, you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty simple class. Um, the OA and the PA lined up pretty well. Um, I didn't have too much of a hard time with this class, you know, especially with the calculator, you know, just go in and answer the math problems, you know, and take the PA as soon as you start the class, and whatever you don't do well on, just go watch those videos or scroll through a little bit of the material. I started the class yesterday uh, in the evening, and I probably could have took the OA last night, but I hung out with my wife and kids and decided just to take it today. Uh, but that's all I really have. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward math course. Just get you a good calculator and you'll be all right. Um, hopefully I'll be able to take the D102 OA sometime in the next 20 years or so. Uh, God willing, if the instructor ever approves it, but we'll play it by ear and we'll see how it goes. Um, my subscribers have reached over 100, so I really appreciate everybody supporting the channel. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's Thanksgiving week. I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday because I'm a fat ass. But uh, that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next one.